What the fuck is this piece of shit? Nemesis recently received a massive buff, but did they go too far? Nancy certainly thinks they did. I open up the game with a really poor chase on tap, missing some very easy whips. But nonetheless, great movement from him to avoid the tentacle. Nemesis now gains mutation to earlier, making it important you use your whip early on to gain the pallet break. I catch tap off guard at Shack, and please let me know, I think I got robbed from this hit. With the bad start locked in, I change targets to Nancy to see if there's an easier route to our first down. And with the aid of some pretty hefty mind games on this DL wall we get much quicker hits. Keep in mind that first hit, Nancy will be sure to remind us of it in the end game chat. Despite her losing out on the mind games and running into us. We continue to lose gens, that's to be expected. But we get our first down as Nancy tries to camp the pallet. In the distance a third gen pops, we're gonna have to snowball pretty hard to make any sort of comeback in this match. As soon as Nancy's on the hook she's off it, Claudette takes a quick unhook and gives me tier 3 mutation as a consequence. This is where the match begins to fall in my favor. Tier 3 now has a much longer range at 6.5 meters, half a meter longer than previous. Successful head cooldown is also 0.5 seconds faster, making for a vicious combo. I swap targets to spread the pressure, but just look at these hits on Ash, absolutely filthy. Now with 3 people injured and 3 people infected we can look to build up a bit of momentum. First with Tap doing the gen right next to me. No dodges from him this time, making our hit very easy. This also activates Dark Devotion, something Nancy wasn't prepared for at all. That's three survivors down at the same time. Completely handed to me, but let's not overslug and hook up Ash instead. We catch Claude on the pickup and with the monstrous tier 3 range, and some bad movement from her we get a beautiful to tap. Wait a sec, ain't no way, the zombie down tap. That's it, game over for the survivors. This is why I prefer to spread pressure rather than focus on one survivor. It allows for bad games to snowball into victories with some key decision making and mistakes from the other side. Damn Nancy wasn't hanging around, straight in there and happy about Nemesis's buffs. Do you agree with her, or do you think she's just salty her and the team through? I try to de-escalate the situation by letting them know I was losing that game comfortably before they made the mistakes. Now ironically Nancy mentions a whip hit that was out of sight while simultaneously complaining about his buffs. However this hit she's referring to was in tier 2, something that never got buffed a now. The person that brought the map got salty, who would have thought? 